Hello everyone. Oh god. I did say I wasn't coming on tonight, but some new information has come out. So I've been googling and everything today to get this find out this information. Just one bit of information I couldn't find. But I can take a guess at that one. How's everyone today? Uh, to all those in the USA, happy Independence Day. Hope you all have a good one or are having a good one. Depending on where you are in the USA. Depends on the time of day. So happy, happy Independence Day to you all. Uh, right. What else was there I wanted to say? Oh, yeah, I just wanted to check something. Uh, something I've just seen. Um, uh, I just wanted to check this out, but then I got a phone call. Of my son and my grandchildren, so I have to take that phone call. Is it now? Uh, oh, yes, good one. Found that out then. We'll be looking at that as well. Yeah, just had a phone call off my son. So, I'm um, at the moment, they're on holiday for a few days, and my grandson come on, see. And I'm looking after his plant, his sunflower is growing. And he's, he's come on, go, Are you looking after my sunflower? Well, he asked me that the other day, and I said, No, it's died. But he hasn't, it's doing well here. I've got the green finger touch. Right, so a lot of people today talking. I've been watching a lot of videos and YouTubes and things like that. And I want to talk about that Mark Williams as well. Right, so even though I didn't put that in the title, I do want to touch up on him a bit. So, anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? We're here. Oh, God, what am I doing? Bang, there's a brand. I just had to answer. It said, I literally logged on because I come off the phone call, realised it's just going 8 o'clock. Oh, so I've got to log in. And before I could log in, it was saying, answer this short survey. For the streaming app I use. Yeah, okay. Boom. God, so like, when is this survey going to end? But it didn't take long. Right, what am I doing? This. Slide. We're here for the slide. J. Slate. J. Slater. 19 year old. Missing in Tenerife. It's now going on. He went missing on the 17th, was he? Let's just check. God. I hate it because I have to have a, a pin, a code for my phone. Because of the, the one app I've got on my phone. And it does my heading and to logging every time. Um. Calendars in. So, 17 to be missing. Um, it'll be three weeks. No, where will we now? July, sorry, June. we missing on the 17th of June. One, two, three. It's been two, 
Coming up to 7, 14, 15, 18 days today. 18 days has been missing. So, that's a long time. And I do think, in a way, they did call off that search too soon. That's what makes me think they had more information elsewhere. And they let those two guys who rented the Airbnb out home too easily. These were two guys that last seen Jay, and they just let him go. We are. Thank you for telling us you saw him last. Bye-bye. Have a nice flight home. Oh, darn. They were the two guys that last saw him. You know what I mean? And it's like... I just get the feeling like the police over there are just believing whatever they're being told by Lucy, uh, his friend, was it, what was his friend's name now? Can't think. His friend, that was a load of BS as well, what he said. And these two guys that he, who rented the Airbnb, it doesn't... Why would they just believe them? You know what I mean? Lucy's back home now, I understand. Back in, in the UK. But I'd be surprised if she's able to do any work anywhere now. Being as she didn't want her picture on live TV, but her picture's on Instagram. Yeah, you know, I'm going, actually, I can put a picture up on here. I've got it somewhere. <laughs> I have got it somewhere. Sure, I have. I know I saved a load of pictures. It's on the desktop. In pics, you know what? I bet I can't find it now. I know I've saved it somewhere. Oh, God, I hate this thing. I, I know I've saved it somewhere. And then when you go to get it, I can't find it. Oh, forget it. Can't find it. And I've still got people coming in, so I don't really want to go too get too heavy on this yet at the moment because there's still people coming in. But I just think the Spanish police are being a bit like they don't want to get involved with what they should be doing. They didn't mind searching for him, but they didn't want to go into the other side of the like. We all know why people, what goes on in Tenerife. We know there's drugs involved. We know that. So it's just a bit, oh, well, we know there's drugs involved. So we'll just let, turn a blind eye to it, you know what I mean? Let them get on with it sort of attitude. And that's what I think law enforcement over there are doing. So, and this Mark Williams, I'll touch on him now former detective he worked on several he works on high profile cases right now he's saying he that family he has not took any money from the family right um the people out there searching are not taking any money from the family so where's this money gone? From the GoFundMe. We know they paid for all their family members and aunts and uncles and next door neighbours and the kids around the block to come over. You know what I mean? To support them. And I can't put the father down or the brother because they have been up on them hills looking. They have. But no one else has. No one else has walked them paths. 
You know what I mean? We're not saying you've got to get in the bushes and the thick of it. Just walk the paths. Take some water with you or whatever it is you like to drink. Flavoured water. I like the flavoured water better. Right? All this Rubicon. I like Rubicon. It's a spring orange and mango flavour. Water. So, but you haven't seen none of them go up there. And then, there was an interview as they come out of the police station. I can't remember who it was with now. And they was going, they turned around and they said, well, just let the police deal with it. Hold on, I thought you wasn't happy with the police. So now you're telling us you're just going to let the police get on with the job. So what did they tell you in that police station for you to suddenly turn around and say, we're just going to let the police deal with it? They was told something. Right? Or was they just fobbed off by the police? Again. It's like they've done a whole... What is it wrong? A whole 360 on this case. They started off, right, looking, well, they started off with the complaint, the missing complaint going in. So they've spoke to people down there, they told them where their phone last pinged, and I I was getting conflicting information on that because I'm, I was getting told, at least two or three different places. I'm going, well, where was it? Where was his phone last pinged? Now we know. We now know where that it was. So then they go up in the hills and they're looking all over these hills and gorges and everything. And it's not easy going. I must admit, it's not easy going. But there's no way they searched all those gorges, gorges and gorges or whatever and all those hills and mountains in two weeks. I'm sorry, you can't do that in two weeks. It's a vast area. It's a hard area to search. Now, that Mark Williams has come out. I'll see if I can find that interview. Uh, Mark Williams interview. Let's see if I can find it. Hmm. That is in the Mark Williams I'm looking for. Okay. No. Not that, not the British actor and comedian, I'm not looking for him. I'll go on YouTube. Because, I know he's on Instagram, but a lot of his place things, a lot of his uh, interviews have been put on YouTube. So we'll see. <sighs> Next time, uh, have a look. That's a shame today I heard about a mass shooting in chi Chicago. Two women died and three children, three young lads injured. Critical. Mm. Right, oh, let's have a look. I'm trying to find that interview with... Uh, is this it? Uh... 
What the heck now? Nah. <sighs> Why is it I can never find the interview I want? It's so annoying. And all I've done today is watch interviews with Mark Williams in it, and I can't find the find it now. I really need to start watching them on my laptop so then I can download them. Oh no, let's see if I have downloaded a couple today. I know I have. No, that isn't wrong. No. Yeah, well, what's, we'll play this one. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop it first before, so I can set it up for you to see. Right, so. Because he's now back home in England. Is it this one? No, it's not that one. Anyway, I can't find it. But he was saying how it was Jay that was on the phone going up in the mountains. When he sent those photos, it was Jay who, t who spoke to them on the phone. How do you know it was Jay? You're only going by what Lucy is telling you and what his friend Brad is telling you. You know what I mean? And you, I don't believe a word that comes out of either of those mouths, either of their mouths. I really don't. So how can you stand there and say to us, it was def it was definitely, or whatever, Jay on that phone that morning? Right? And then he goes on to say, Jay was too scared to go back to that Airbnb. Well, he didn't seem too scared standing outside the door having a smoke at, what, 7.30, quarter to eight in the morning. He didn't seem too scared after he spoke to the woman the first time and then went back to the Airbnb and then come back out again and asked her again. He didn't seem scared then, did he? So why was he too scared to go back? Within minutes of speaking to that woman, he was on his way. So... Why was he too scared to go back to that Airbnb? I don't, for one minute, believe it was Jay. Well, I really don't. I think it was another lad. So, and as I said, you can alter. If you get a Snapchat photo and you save it to your phone, Right, you can go go into your picture thing, your photos, and change the date, the time, everything on it. Of course, you could put yourself back in the UK if you wanted to, even though we wouldn't believe it because UK don't have those sort of places. But you could change your location on the phone. So that photo means nothing to me of him standing on them steps. Nothing. Because we know he knew those two guys. And we know Lucy knows them two guys. And I'll tell you why I know. Because we're going to talk about that guy tonight. And who is Jay Slater's friend? We're going to share this, okay? 
And this will also tell you why law enforcement let them come home. Right, this story I'm going back in the news tell you who the guy is and will also tell you why they let him come home. Then that guy come home. Right? All right, let's have a look. That's up there, okay. Let me take myself off the screen so you can see it better. I'll just take myself down here. Okay. Here we are. Jay's new pal. Jay, witness. Who's Jay Slater's pal? I'm not going to say his name because I'll just make a mess up of it. Convicted drug dealer who saw teen Lee Flat Alive is in Drill Rapper's crew. There. There he is. Oh, I'm just... Try to do some more. Mm. He's in a rapper's group. It's like a bit like I think security. Don't believe that. Right. But he's in there. Now that guy as well, his friend. Hold on. Just pulling some up on my phone. Right. Just put my phone up on this stand. I've got two stands for my mobile. Well, the one stand is on the phone itself. One stand I have in the kitchen for when I'm talking in the kitchen, I'm, like with my daughter or whatever. And one is on a clip attached to my table. Anyway, this guy, or whoever he is, we're going to watch this. Watch this. This is Jay's new pal. Serial. Hey, I want to say alhamdulillah, thank God always. Rest in peace, my nan and my aunt. Uh, <laughs> that's first and foremost, like, I do this not lightheartedly, and this means the world to so many people more than me. I want to say happy birthday to my son as well. I come too far to turn back. I'm getting too fast to slow down. I know when you're in. Right now, let's just stop that. Stop that because we don't want to say that, man. Right, so he's part of like the security thing there, and he's also in one of his videos. Right? It says, <clears throat> A convicted drug dealer who took Jay Slater back to his Airbnb before he vanished is part of a drill rapper's entourage. The son can reveal. Whatever his name is, 31, was jailed for nine years in 2015. Well, he obviously didn't do nine years because that would have took him up to now, 20, 2015. Plus nine is twenty twenty-four. Yep. Yeah. So the way our ser prison service works is like you get jailed for nine years, you might as well cut that in half. Well, down to say six years, yep. Yeah, before you even get to the prison, they'll it'll get cut down to about six years. And then when you're in the prison, it gets cut down to about three years, three and a half. But then they come out and he'll be on probation then for the remainder of the time. So say he's sentenced for nine years and he only did three years in prison, he'll be on probation for nine, um, six years. That's how I believe our system works, I think. Well, if that was the case, how the hell 
was he allowed to go over to Tenerife unless his probation is finished? Possibly. Right. His close pals with Potter Payer. Paper. Pay paper. Right. He appears on stage with Potter Paper. There he is, isn't he nice? Nice guy. Hmm. Isn't he a nice guy? Such a nice guy this is. And there he is again. The sun can also reveal that he is closely connected to, listen to this, a legal cannabis cafe on Tenerife, owned by his childhood friend, acclaimed drill rapper Potter Paper. Or oh, whatever you pronounce his name, right? So, this rapper owns a legal cannabis cafe in Tenerife. This, this man, that guy, is one of the main guys, part of the main guys. They go way back, they go way back and were friends back in London. They both grew up in Barking and mixed in the same circles. I mean, you know what circles they were. Once Potter opened up the cannabis cafe in Tenerife, he decided that such a, that guy was the guy to run it. Of course, he was. A yup and another missing man dubbed Johnny Vegas. Funny how he's not saying who that is, isn't he? have since been deemed not relevant to the case by Spanish police. And we know why now. We now know why. Because he's got connections. He's got connections. With these guys. Right? He's got connections with these guys. They know him. The Spanish police know that Ayub or whatever his name is. Right? They've got connections. He's got connections with the guy who runs an illegally, by law, it's legal over there in Tenerife, to run a cafe. But it's more like a social club. Sort of thing. Where you can go and you buy your cannabis, you smoke it, or whatever you want to do there. Yep. Whatever. Now we know why the police let him go. They both grew up together, mixed in the same circles. Oh, God, what's happening? Go off there. Um, right, but, but calls are grown for them to step in and help the search for Jay, who has been missing for two and a half weeks. Initially, it was claimed that Jay went back to the rental with the two men he had met on the night. But Quasim told reporters that Jay was a cool guy who he knew through friends. He said, I let the geezer stay at mine because he had nowhere else to go. 
uh, his own apartment? Why, do, if he's so wasted, why didn't you just put him in your car or put him in a taxi and send him off to his own apartment? Come on. Don't talk BS to me. He had nowhere else to go because his friends had left him. That's good, isn't he? Again, distancing themselves from what was going to happen. I know Jay through friends. I'm not going to bring someone back to mine if I don't know them. But you don't know Jay, really. You just know him because of Lucy and your every little mules that you've got working over there. Because I can guarantee you, this is the guy that was giving them the drugs to Sam. That is the guy who was giving them the drugs to Sam. I can, I, oh, I can't guarantee you, uh, I can't be definite. But it's too much of a coincidence that this guy was sent to jail. Is a ringleader in London of a gang smuggling the white stuff, the white powder and all that law into Cardiff, Wales. He got sentenced to nine years. He probably done about three. Even less, maybe. Right? So you're telling me um you go you you got sentenced to nine years but you've probably only done about three. He's then gone to Tenerife where his longtime pal whatever his name is, rapper guy, never heard of him, but I don't follow that scene, so I don't know. Right, long time friend of his who he grew up with Runs a cafe over there, le legally runs a cannabis cafe over there. He runs it, he manages it. Right? Then a lad goes missing, yeah? With the possibility of drugs being involved, because we don't know for sure. We've only got Lucy. Well, Lucy isn't saying anything about that, and neither is Brad. Right? But with possibility of drugs being involved, this lad is then said to have been took to your Airbnb. Right? But then he left that morning, and he was too scared to go back. But he wasn't too scared when he stood on the doorstep having his cigarette with that blanket wrapped around him. You know what I mean? He wasn't too scared when he come out and asked that woman, why didn't he ask for help? Why didn't he ask her for help if he's that scared? He wasn't too scared when he came back to the Airbnb to grab his stuff, finish getting dressed or whatever he had to do. To leave again, to ask that woman again about the buses and then walk off in the wrong direction. He wasn't scared then, was he? If I was scared of someone in an Airbnb, would I have be standing with my back to the door smoking a cigarette? I would be out of that place before anyone could say, fuck it. You know what I mean? I'd be gone. Plus, why is a 19-year-old lad going off to an Airbnb with two men in, like, their 30s? But now I know why they got uh, able to come home. Because of their connections they have with that rapper who owns a cafe in Tenerife, not far from where he was last seen. Oh, and 
you know the thing about Rolex? This is what I just searched up as I was just coming on the live. Someone mentioned Rolex is known a name, a code name for ecstasy pills. And it's got it here. Police issue a reward, renewed warning about fake ecstasy pills in Northern Ireland known as Green Rolexes. Right? Drug warning has been issued by experts in Manchester over green coloured Rolex ecstasy tablets. It's been revealed. The Manchester Drug Analysis and Knowledge Exchange. Right? Let's have a look at what this one says. It might even have a picture. Because there's no, there's nothing, no one's reported the watch being stolen. Nothing. Right? Oh, look. No, thanks. No, thanks. The green pill, Rolex. There's the Rolex for you. It's not a watch. It's a pill. It's a green ecstasy pill. Right? A drugs warning has been issued by experts in Manchester over green coloured Rolex ecstasy tablets is being revealed. The Manchester Drug Analysis and Knowledge Exchange, Mandrake, shared details of the alert on its social media platform and an image of the tablets. They said tablets have been tested and found to contain dipenthylone, oh, which is said to be a synthetic caffeine, 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 a relation to the amphetamine family of drugs. Right, but these are the tablets, the Rolex, not the nice fancy watch, it's the Rolex pill. So what, there was an argument on that beach. I believe there was an argument on that beach. I don't care what anyone says or whatever, because I am... Um, I can't get this off my phone. That's it. Um, argument. There was an argument on that beach. Right? And these text messages that he apparently sent his friends on the way up to that Airbnb... I don't believe he sent them. I believe someone else sent them. I don't even believe he was alive in that car. I really don't. Now, as I said before, they need to find that car. They need to get forensically checked. Because apparently they said they stayed an extra day 
because they, they had to talk to the police, but had to stay longer to get the car cleaned inside and out before taking it back. Now, car rentals, they're not looking forensically for any blood, are they? They're not. They're just seeing nice clean car, clean carpet, clean flooring, clean ashtrays, whatever. They're just seeing nice and clean. So they need to find that car. That was a rental, I, I believe. They need to get it checked forensically. I don't care if someone's hiring it at the moment. Take the car off them and say, sorry, we need that car. Here's another car, but we need that car. Get the car checked forensically. Micro, get the little, uh, what's that, um, stuff they spray. Get that in there. Hi. And I'll tell you a place where people tend to forget to clean as well in a car. I shouldn't really tell you this, but I will. A lot of people forget to to clean. You know the rear mirror? The rear mirror, mirror they use. So they can see out the back window. They forget to check beyond there, to clean beyond there. Because there's fingerprints like Everyone has to alter that mirror for their own suiting. I've not been in any car with anyone who's hired a car and not had to alter that mirror to fit it for their liking. Right? When you buy a new car, you'll alter the mirror to fit it to your liking. When you hire a car, you alter that mirror to fit it to your how you like it. Right? So... That needs to be checked. That car forensically needs to be checked because I don't for one minute believe Jay was alive. And why? Why would you go like 5 30, 6 o'clock in the morning, all the way up to this Airbnb? Yeah. So between 5 and 6, that takes an hour. So you probably got there about half, 6, 7 in the morning. Right? Then leave at 8 a.m. Why would you do that? You wouldn't. You wouldn't do that. And as for Lucy, she knew where that Airbnb was because I heard something today, but I want to do my own research on it first. Right, I want to check it out first. But I heard something about that Airbnb and Lucy's name coming into it. But she knew where it was. Because no way, even by sending a picture of the scenery, would you be able to say, oh, look, like that picture he sent me. Oh, there's the Airbnb. No. Oh, look, there's the Airbnb with the steps. The steps are at the back of the fucking building. So how can you tell from there? Unless you get out of the car and actually walk around to the back of the building and have a look. You're not going to know. So she knew exactly where this Airbnb was. And if I'm right, once I do my research tomorrow, because as I said, I have heard it, but I want to fact check, fact check it myself first before I say anything on here. Because her name's come up on that Airbnb. I don't even know what. So the thing is, I need to find the site you go on to rent that Airbnb. Right? So I need to find that site first, and then I can find the Airbnb, and then I can check to see the comments. Like, people leave, like, reviews, don't they? That's what I want to check. So, this is why, I'll go back to that, no. so, 
that's why the green tablets are Rolex. And so when you hear about a fight on the beach about a stolen Rolex, it's stolen ecstasy tablets. It's missing tablets. That's what the fight was about. Right? And the reason law enforcement let them go home is because they've got connections. Oh, hang on, is this what? Let's listen to this. This might be what I'm on about. I'm not sure. Oh, just a little bit. Work it just a little bit. Work it just a little bit. Jay Slater was scared when he left the Airbnb where he was last seen, it was claimed today. Not too scared to be standing with his back to the door while having a smoke. TV investigator Mark Williams Thomas, who has been working for Jay's family to help find the team, claims Jay would not return to the holiday rental to either charge his phone or get water, even though that was the most sensible thing to do. He told friends he just couldn't do that and he was already 30 minutes walk away. The investigator, who's been given full access to Jay's family and friends, also revealed Jay was off the main road, walking on a track and on loose stones. In an update on the case posted online, Mr. Williams Thomas also revealed the teen had posted a video to his Snapchat boasting of the theft of a Rolex watch. We know that shortly before 6 a.m. on Monday the 17th of June, Jay left the area of Veronica Strip, Las Americas, in the Seat Leon hire car with two males casually known to him. Jay and a number of his friends had spent time with them both over the previous two days. All three males, including Jay, then travelled north via the main motorway, the TF1, to go to the two males' holiday rental Casa Abu Latina in Masca which was about an hour's drive away. En route, Jay posted a Snapchat saying that he'd taken a £12,000 Rolex from a person. We have been unable to validate this in terms of a reported theft. However, friends of Jay said he would not make this up and the watch was subject of later conversation between the friends. Not long after arriving at the rental, Jay around 7am had contact with various friends via social media, both inside and outside the rental. And during these calls, various videos, chats were had and pictures sent, including the one he took on the doorstep that many of you will have seen. Which I don't trust, because as I keep saying, you can change the date and time on those pictures. I am confident that that photograph on the doorstep is him. This comes as the first picture of a Briton who rented the Airbnb where Jay stayed emerged today. Ayub Abdul booked the £40 a night holiday rental online and later hosted Jay at the property after the old party at the NIG Music Festival. Spanish police hunting for Jay have already spoken to the man and his unnamed friends and described them both as not relevant to their investigation. Cops have also said there is no evidence of criminality involved in Jay's disappearance. Yeah, let's go. Right? Now, I can assure you, like Lucy May, or Lucy Law, whatever name she goes by, this guy is going to be watched very carefully now. Because his name's come up in another case with a missing leg where drugs are involved. I don't care what anyone says, drugs are involved. Because no way can Lucy May, who was only 19, no job, no means of money coming in from anywhere, right, afford to travel to all those places she does each month all year round. Sorry, it's not happening. Because if it did, I'm sure 
there'd be hundreds of 19 year olds traveling around the country if if that was the reason oh i've just got a lot of money how she might have a lot very rich family she might i doubt it though now i don't like this guy for what he's saying because geezer that's more of a word a younger lag would use geezer geezer no you don't use that in your, when you're 30 plus. You don't. I'm doing the geezer a favour. And now my face is all over, over the news. It's a bit mental. I haven't even done anything. Hmm. Haven't you? Are you sure about that? The apprentice bricklayer from Oswald Twistle. Oswald Twistle. Lancashire had been at an all-night rave, Playa de las Americas. J-19 went back to the remote cottage called Casa Abulia Tina at around 5am on June the 17th. So, if he left at 5am, he got there at 6 because it takes a good hour to get there. Because those were roads. Showed you yesterday, those roads are windy and very narrow. Just hours before he vanished. Quasi, oh yeah, this is another thing. Listen to this. Quasi, who booked the Airbnb under the name, surname Abdul. Abdul. And his unknown friend to Spanish police after Jay vanished before flying back to the UK. Why would you... Book it under the surname Abdul when your surname is Cuisine. That's a big red flag to me. You book somewhere in a different, like you hear these uh, couples meeting up and they book under uh, what, whatever name Smith, Jones, you name it. Right? You use a different name because you're up to no good. You're up to no good. Now, was that the passport he was using as well, Abdul? And if so, why? Oh, could it be because he's still on parole and he's not supposed to be leaving the country? I wonder if he's using the passport as a name, whatever, um, Ayub, Ayub Abdul, or in his proper name as Cuisine. So, we go back to this. I haven't done anything wrong. And I said, are you sure about that? Quasi, who booked the Airbnb under the name Abdul. That's why I say, are you sure you haven't done anything wrong, Quasi? And his unnamed friend. Why is his friend not being named? Spanish police. Spoke to Spanish police after Jay vanished before flying back to the UK the following day. Quasim added, I keep thinking of Quasimodo when I think of that Quasim, that name. The only comment I have to make is that Jay came to the house alive and he left the house alive. Hmm, you sure about that? If I'd fallen out with him, would he even come to mind? Oh, yes, he would. Because he'd have no choice but to come to yours. There were no problems. You've seen the last images of him with his red blanket around him. Mm. We do. But I don't trust that picture. I don't know if he had beef elsewhere because I don't know him that well. So, hold on. 
you don't know him that well, but you bring him back to your Airbnb. Okay. I only know him through friends, which are Lucy and whoever else. Right? Because he's the one, I believe, this is my opinion, I believe, in my opinion, he's the one dealing the drugs out to the, his little 19-year-olds to go off and sell. But Jay's dad won 58 yesterday, question why his teenage son ended up at a, at a remote Airbnb with two grown men. Exactly. Or was it for another reason? I'll let your minds wander there. Quasim confirmed he had spoken to the Spanish authorities in Tenerife, but says he was told by foreign cops not to speak to anyone else. Uh, why not? Why not? Why was he told not to speak to anyone else? Why would the police say that to you? But you see, the Spanish police forget. If we know they're from UK or any country, these, lo these newspapers, these journalists, will find the person out and they track him down. Right? Right, now remember this bit, I don't know him that well. Yep. Asked how well he knew Jay and what he thought of the theories surrounding his disappearance. Quasim said, everyone knows each other. I'm sure they do. I'm not going to slander anyone. He's a cool guy, Jay. He ain't got no problem with me. I haven't got a problem with him or his mates. Are you sure about that? Quasim added that he and Jay's pals all just talked to each other and that everything was sweet. Right. Now there's another article here by Katie Davis. Jay Slater left the Airbnb he went to with two men feeling scared after admitting to stealing a 12,000 Rolex, which we know is not true. We know the Rolex is this. <coughs> I'm gonna <coughs> Actually, I'm going to save that picture. I think really because, gosh, if the police... Anyone went through my pictures on my laptop? Oh, God. Let's see if I can find that picture again now. It's not going to let me find it, is it? No. Oh, God. Let's see. Right. Ah. There. Let's put it down there. Right. Anyway. So we know what the Rolex is now, everyone, okay? It's not a watch. After admitting to stealing 12,000 uh, 12, Rolex and an uh, investigator claims, Mark Williams, do your job a bit better, please. There's no one come forward about this Rolex watch because I'm sure if a Rolex watch had been stolen, it'd be right up to the police. You know what I mean? Former detective Mark Williams Thomas said the 19-year-old did not want to return to the remote holiday left in ten northwest Tenerife despite having little phone battery because he wasn't there. Apprentice Bricklayer Jay, who had been at the rave all night in Playa de las Americas, travelled north to the Airbnb in Masca village in the early hours of June 17. During the hour-long drive, Mark claims Jay posted a Snapchat saying he had taken a Rolex 
worth 12,000 from an unknown person. Now it's funny how that Snapchat hasn't been put out there. Not that I can find. Police have been examining security cameras at a beach club and speaking to witnesses about an alleged Rolex theft hours before Jay vanished. It was reported a brawl broke out at the Papagayo Beach Club in the early hours of June the 17th after a burly Eastern European man allegedly has had his privacy watch stolen. Hmm. Who gives odds on that second person? That ever unknown man being a burly Eastern European man. Hmm? Yep, I do. Mark said he and his team had been unable to validate Jay's claim on Snapchat in terms of reported theft. Well, yeah, because Snapchat, it keeps photos for literally a minute or so and then it disappears. Unless you save it, unless you're quick enough and you save it to your phone. Right? He added, however, friends of Jay said he would not make this up and the watch was subject of later conversation between friends. Oh, I bet it was a conversation between friends. Right? I bet it was a conversation saying, just tell him he stole a watch, a Rolex watch. You know what I mean? If anyone asks you, stole a Rolex watch, that's what you, we've got to say. But this is what gets me, right? Now, let, this is coming out about a Rolex watch, right? This past week, it's come out about this Rolex watch. And about the a, a brawl or something broke out. Yeah? Why is it just coming out now? Why didn't Lucy... Or Brad say something at the beginning. No, because they was too concerned about making sure that the police believed what they said about Jay going off to this Airbnb, leaving, and then getting lost in the mountains. That's the story they had to get the police to believe. I don't believe that, and I'm sure there's others that don't believe that. But that's the story they are sticking to, and that's the story they want everyone to believe. I don't believe it. I don't. However, friends of Jay, he may not he may not make it up, but you're making it up. You're lying about this. Because it wasn't a watch. It wasn't a watch, everyone. It was those little green tablets. According to Mark, that's why you can't find no proof of a Rolex watch being stolen or anything. According to Mark, the host of the Airbnb told Jay at around 8am there would be a bus two hours later. Jay then tried to make his way back to his holiday accommodation. Faced with an 11 hour walk. Mark, who worked on the Magdalene McCann case, oh, we we'll know how well that case went, said Jay talked to at least three friends via message. So we didn't talk, it was messages. Right? It wasn't a voice talk, it was messages. So we didn't talk, it should say, should say, Jay messaged at least three of his friends. But he doesn't, he said Jay, said Jay talked. He didn't, he messaged. And the phone while checking back, telling them he was lost. At around 8.50 a.m., he made a frantic call to Lucy, friend Lucy, saying he was in the middle of nowhere with no water and had just 1% battery on his phone. Now, I seen somewhere on a TikTok today that that wasn't a phone call either. That was a message. Mark said in a video update today, he was told to go back by two people to the rental. He said he could not do that 
and that he'd already been walking for 30 minutes and that he was now off-road and walking on a track where there were loose stones. Hmm. Mark has claimed Jay fled the holiday left and was scared. No, he wasn't. He wasn't scared because he wasn't alive. I'm sorry to say this. This is just my opinion. He wasn't alive. It wasn't Jay that woman saw that morning. If she saw someone, she spoke to someone, but it wasn't Jay. He said, we have received information that would suggest that Jay left the rental property feeling scared and he would not return to the rental, even though that would have been the most sensible course of action. And you also where he could have, had, could have charged his phone, got some water and made contact with friends. We continue to investigate this aspect. Well, I think you need to look at the uh, Rolex thing a bit better, Mark. I really do. Quasim spoke to the police the day after Jay Vance. So, Quasim spoke to him on the Tuesday. But cut their holiday short. Oh, really? Why did you cut your holiday short, Cuisine? Hmm. They gave the officers their details and fully cooperated with the investigation. When the son called at Cuisine's family home in Barking today, a relative said he didn't want to say anything and insisted he insisted he had no questions to answer. The son can reveal that Kwasim is close pals with M.O.B. Mobo award winner Potter Paper, Paper 33. The source said he runs the rapper's cannabis cafe in Canada in Tenerife called Potter's Garden in Las America. According to social media posts, the brand new was broken into and trashed about six weeks ago. Well, we know why, because they've got cannabis in there. And God knows what else. One said every day, I will go to the coffee shop and see him working and chatting to the club members, keeping everyone cool and making sure everyone was all right during people's time at the club. We even went for a doob at the beach a few times and also went out on a night out together. Right. Hang on. Another comment I know whatever myself from working in coffee shops. Such such is a nice lag. He's not a lag, he's a man. He's a bloke. A grown up adult. And has the time of day for anyone, always checking on others. Hmm. Cuisine grew up with drill rapper Potter, real name Jamel Bruzba and even joined him on stage to collect his mobo for best album. He could be seen sporting a turtleneck and a chain with his pal's name on as a rapper delivered an acceptance speech at a utilita arena in Sheffield earlier this year. I'm bad for names. The record real back in style surged to number two on the UK albums chart making Bo Booze Bar a household name. Well, not my household reason. Quasim also features in Booze video for the song Love Me How, which features on the album. He can be seen awkwardly hugging a pair of scantily clad women whilst on a yard in the 2024 video. The Cannabis Cafe Potter's Garden is located on the island, not far from where Jay was last seen. Right? The bar is a private social club which cannabis is allowed to be consumed under Spanish law. Quasim, who grew up embarking his lunging with Boos Bar, is understood, understood to have worked at the bar, to have worked at the bar for seven months. Not that he does. Otherwise, he would say 
is understood to be working at the bar, to of something like that, to have worked at the bar for several months. So it means he's not there now. Only three months ago, footage emerged online of Yobs breaking in and ransacking the, the bar. Since Slater went missing, Potter's Garden has since taken down its Instagram page. Isn't that funny? Hmm. Oh, yes, and this is another thing. Booze Bar, or Booze Bar, is also a convicted drug dealer. Having pleaded guilty to running a county lines operation supplying the white stuff in Clacton, Essex, in 2018, earning him a five years and four months prison sentence. Oh, well, they're mixed together, don't they? The son contacted Booze Bar for comment. Uh, no, nothing else now. But you can't, I cannot put the father down. Right, I'll go. Where's my. Okay. I'll go. Why is my video stopped on there? That's all. That's why. Sorry. But I read it out to you anyway, so you didn't need to see the picture. There was no pictures. Right. But I'm not putting the father down because, look, he's walking them tracks. He's out there walking those tracks. Right. Now, what I want to know is those glasses that was found. Yeah. Oh, let's just shut these windows down and be new. Oh, God, come on. Shut that window down. What am I going to tell What am I looking at now? So, oh yeah, Google Maps. Was he? No. TikTok. TikTok, not Google Maps. That's how my mind goes blank sometimes. Within a flick of a switch, my mind can go blank. Right, I'm going to show you that video where he found the glasses. Where was he? Oh, God. Oh, here it is. All right. Oh, this is all I need again for my fucking TikTok not to be working again. Try again, Ange. Oh, just my heading. It's not working again for some stupid reason, TikTok. It's not working again. I'll keep it open. I'll just keep closing it and opening it up again. Because sometimes I'll just have to give it a second or so for it to click in. Right? 
with these glasses here. All right, should be seeing that in a minute. These glasses here, right, that he found. Those are like the edge of the path, right? So you're telling me that all those searches are done or plan. Right? Mind about where we find them, I'd say. I think it's just passing by where we find them, put it that way. Right. Now, this is the path round about here. It's the last ping location. And it was along that path, I believe, he found those glasses. Right? Now, you're telling me, in all the search they'd done over the two weeks, right, that the search party had not been searched over there. Because on the map they show you, when they show you the map, that the search maps, they show you that all this has been searched. All these gorges. I don't know how they've done it in two weeks, but they've all been searched. Right? Now, if that was the case, why didn't they find them glasses? Right? Uh -huh. Where am I? Where am I? That's going right here. Right here. Right here. So, if that's the case, why did they not find them glasses? If they've searched all this area, and I know I've seen the map of this search, which they've got, like, marked up where they've searched. And this is one of the gorges. Gorge. The gorge they searched. Right? You're telling me they didn't find them sunglasses. So was those sunglasses planted there? Because those plant he, he's only walked along this road. He's only come along down here, so it's like a little dirt track. And they found like on the edge of the dirt track, somewhere along this road, I believe. Somewhere along here. So if that gorge was searched, why wasn't those glasses found there? That's why I don't believe that any that if they are jays, then they've been planted there. And like that guy said, I know he's going down this path at the time. Because he said if if his phone is in here somewhere, right? If his phone is anywhere like here, ping in there, around there, or in there, but in this area, his last location ping, right? Then someone had to have thrown that phone into this round there. Because let's see if I can try and get up on the road, yeah. Right? Now this is from the road. And you can't see, well actually you can see a bit of God. Oh God, so come on, get that off the screen. You can see sort of path, I swear to God, in fact don't click off. You can see a sort of path over here somewhere. Right? But 
as I said, all, all this is like thick, brambly stuff and cactuses and there's no firm footing on it because of the, the dead brambly stuff on the floor, like this stuff. See this? I'm doing my head in how that is. Why is that not coming off? But you see, it's all this dead stuff that they're walking on. So if he's going onto that path, let's have a look, see how, where you can get onto this path. It's got to be way up here somewhere. Where's that path? Be further up. But see, this is the sort of thing you're walking on. And he said there's no way if that phone is anywhere in that area, there's no way. He walked through that to get back up onto this road. No way. So that phone was thrown into that area. Now, for all we know, they could have thrown, got out of the car, thrown it over. They didn't have to go out down the path and throw it. They could just pull up in the car, get out, or even just throw it out the window if you could get a good enough throw on it. But I'd get out the car and I'd throw it. I think that's a path there. It's going down there. Show up. Got my cats. You see, it's just thick. All this sort of stuff. There's no way it's going to be able to be able to come back up there not happening but he got onto a dirt track that is round there somewhere so as he said the only way that phone would end up in that area is if it was thrown thrown in that's what makes me believe it wasn't Jay that lady saw at the rental. I'm not blaming her, because as I said, all these youngsters all look the same, really. I could, you know what I mean? All she remembers is a 19-year-old lad, or a young lad, a young British lad. Is this the photo of the lad you saw? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, at a quick glance, or when you're trying to explain something to someone, you're not really taking much in your, you're trying to explain like 10 at, at 10 o'clock. So she probably wasn't taking much notice of the lad himself. I don't think it was Jay. I don't know who it was, but I don't think it was Jay. And I think they drove up there and thrown that phone into that area. Well, I don't think he's up that way. As I said, if he is, then he's been took there. But not, not me. I think they need to... Hang on. I don't think he's anybody now. Why? Even to get in there carrying a body, it'd be very hard. Very hard. I think 
like I pointed out, oh god sake, this map, the other day, I think he's down this way. Because there's that bed and breakfast, right? There's the Airbnb, right there. Come round there, down round there, and there's a little path. And you can follow that path, and you can go all the way down, all the way down, 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 down. Right, you might have a bit of a struggle there, but you could get past it. Right, down, down. All the way. I wouldn't say he went on this because this is more on the hill. Right, I don't know if I can get on there. No. Right, but they can bring him all the way down here. They could have got him up there, maybe on the hill somewhere, hit him somewhere up there. This is the area I think they need to look round here. Round here. And all down here. Now apparently that was supposed to have been searched. Because I'm sure like it comes under part of the goes. Yes, that was supposed to have been searched. But I think they need to search there. Again. Because that seems more plausible to me. That if they was going to get rid of the body, they'd get rid of it where they know they, it's easy enough for them to get to. Aye. But hard enough for someone to find. Right, I can't see them going all the way up there to carry him down here. Yeah, right, down that path. I can't see that. But then again, they might have. He might be round there somewhere. But I don't know. I'll just get. I'll just keep going back to this. This area. All this. It's a big area, and I don't, even, I don't think it was a giant, and if that investigator is believing what they are telling him, then he's the biggest fool going. And we all know what happened with the uh, Nicola Bully case, we all know what happened with the Magdalene McCann case, and what's it, oh, and the Jimmy Savile case apparently, and we all know what happened on that case. Oh, piece of shit, hit it, that guy was. Right? But he goes for the high profile cases. And he says, he came here and said, I can find your son in three days. But you didn't, did you? Well, I couldn't get all to all the people, could I? I couldn't speak to those two guys. But you said, three days, I'll find your son. Don't make, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, oh, God. Don't stand there and say to us, you can find someone in three days when we know you can't. Simple as that. You're not going to find him in three days. Not if he's in them mountains. Which I believe he is, but I don't think he went there on his own, willingly. Put it that way. And I think that Brad knows a lot more than he's saying. And Lucy is definitely knows. As that someone said she's more like a top dog out of all the, out of all of them in there. So she's gonna have a bit of pulling power if that's the case. As you heard on that uh Type, you said you wasn't going to stab him. So she obviously spoke to these people beforehand. And they've told her, I said, no, 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 we won't hurt him, we won't hurt him. You know what I mean? She knew exactly what was going to happen. She said to herself, if, 
if the, if anything goes wrong, we're dead from past experience. From past experience, she knows what happens when anything goes wrong. From past experience. So she knew. She knows now. She probably don't know where about he is, but she knows why he went up there. And it wasn't to have uh, more drinks and whatever. And I think it was, I don't know who it was. I'm not going to even say who I think it is. But I, I know it wasn't Jay sending those text messages. Those text messages were sent as a ploy, as a distraction, to let us think that Jay was still alive. Why? He wasn't. And he could be in. They could have put him in such a place, right, where they, if he is found, they could say, oh, sugar. They can turn around and say, he found. That's how he got there. That's how he's got down there. He found. You know what I mean? Oh, so, what else was it I wanted to talk about? Oh, and the other thing I don't believe Jay was up there is the dogs. You know when they're doing the search? Apparently, no, 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 the dog's got a scent. Now, I'm sure... I'm going to go to here. Right. I'm sure if Jay had been there, yeah, the dogs would have got some scent. They have got some scent somewhere along this road, all the way along this road. No, they have got a scent. Oh, look, that looks like steps coming down, doesn't it? Never noticed that before. See that? Looks like steps. It's just how the ground's been dug. It looks like steps. See? And you can see a, a walk, a path there. And that would be going from. Oh, yeah. There's his Airbnb. Look at the past going down there. But the dogs are picked up on no scent at all along this route anywhere. Now he's injured. Was his leg bleeding? Could there be blood about? Right? He's hot. He's sweaty. He's going to leave a scent. He's going to leave a scent. You can see how windy these roads. I would not want to drive along these roads. But they haven't picked up one cent anywhere along here, anywhere along here. And why is that? Because Jay was not on the mountain. I was going to talk about the two Moroccans, but we found the one. 
right? He found Wong, but not Moroccan. Wong could be Moroccan, but yeah, but Wong isn't. But then again, I don't know, he might be Moroccan. And I now found out about the Rolex. So I don't need to talk about that again. Uh, did Jay go to the Airbnb? No, I don't think so. If he did, he was not alive. Right? Spoke about Mark Williams, how good of a, 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 a private investigator he is. But this is another... Is he a private investigator or just an investigator? Because... I really don't like these private investigators who go online. I really don't. Plus, why is he talking? If he's a private investigator, why is he talking on TV, people? It's private. What? What? Uh, not me. So I don't think he's a private investigator. I just think he's an investigator. All right. If he class, puts himself as down as a private, then it's not private. He's out on the TVs, he's out on Instagram, and all that lot, Twitter. Private investigators, they're private investigators because they are private. They don't tell anyone anything apart from the person they're working for. So I don't think he's a private investigator. I think he's just an investigator. So, we talked about that cuisine and his uh, connections. So now we know why he wasn't, he wasn't held. That's why he was able to go home, back to the UK. He only had to mention one name, one name. And it was, oh, well, yeah, yeah, we know, yeah, yeah. They've probably been to the flipping cafe themselves. You know what I mean? Because it's legal to smoke in that cafe. It's legal over in Tenerife. So they've probably been in there themselves and had a, a joint in there or whatever. So they know him. And the fact that he cut his holiday short. Why did he cut his holiday short? You know what I mean? Why did he cut his holiday short? <coughs> <coughs> so I hope... Law enforcement do look into this Rolex a lot more, and I don't mean the watch. Why was the um, live stream from the 17th took off the camera, off the, off the uh, site? That site I was on yesterday where we got the live stream. Why was that took off on the 17th? Did they see that argument go on? Because it's been took off and it's not being put back up. Right, comments. Comments. Wesley, hiya. What are your thoughts on this? What are your thoughts on this, Wesley? Uh, I honestly don't think he was up there, not alive. Because the dogs will get picked up on a scent somewhere. Out of all those dogs, they flew these dogs in from, was it Malta? Or somewhere? So, they fl flew these dogs in. So that must be pretty good. And out of all the dogs, you'd think one of those dogs would get picked up a scent. 
if Jay was there, they'd have picked up a fucking scent. One of those dogs would have done it. Uh -huh. They'd probably try and say, well, it was too hot for them. Ooh, they're bred over there. They know the heat. So don't come out. I hope they don't try and come out with, well, the dogs didn't pick up a scent because it was just not the right weather for them. Well, what is the right weather for them? Snow? Rain? Thunderstorms? Lightning? Hailstones? In fact, I remember once when I was over in Spain, we had hailstones. The, as big as fucking golf balls. By the time I ran back, we ran back to our apartment, our hotel, the backs of our legs were red. Not from the sun. From these fucking size hailstones, the size of golf balls. Smacking against our legs. We sat in the one pub on the night time of the hotel. We thought we won't go out this night. We'd stay and see what entertainment they've got on. They're taping their fucking windows up. Because they're expecting a, a real heavy storm coming in. So, is that what the dogs are used to? This is a very strange story. And a lot of different people know what happened. Yes. They do know what happened, but they're not saying, are they? So, it's... I know Lucy knows more than she's saying. Brad knows more than he's saying. And that guy, Quizzy, he's definitely involved. Rolex, the tablets, yeah, right, we know the Rolex. We know it wasn't a watch, we know it was tablets, ecstasy tablets, where two people apparently in Ireland have died from it. Right? But, I swear, I, I, I just don't get this. His scent would have been somewhere along this road. Right, it would have. He's walked up here, it's hot. Why is this not going? Oh. Right, I'll come off that. It's not working at the moment. His scent would have been found. Let's see if I can get this to work now. No, no. Any of these videos working? But you can see. Hold on. No, you can't see anything because I'm not sharing it with you, am I? You can see just from the pictures on here. Because I can't get the video TikTok to work at the moment. You can see how barren and harsh and dry. I would not like to have to get through these bushes. They look ever so sharp. And, you know what I mean? And look, you got to get through all that. He said it took him five minutes to go a short distance in. Right? Now, Jay, who's got no water, right? No water, no proper clothing for that, for doing all that hiking and trekking, right? He's dehydrated, he's coming off a, th a three-day bender as well, don't forget that. So he's going to be really dehydrated. So, there's no way he'd get through all these bushes, all this lot. And as I said, if they'd searched that area, which I know I've seen a map, I'm like, I keep meaning to save it. To save that map. And I will. Next time I see it, I'll come on my laptop and punch it up and save it. Um, it shows those areas have been searched. So why wasn't those glasses found before? Right?
And why wasn't I? Was there planted there? Or someone else walked along and lost their glasses, like that Paul, Paul Arnett, or whatever his name is, that ever. I can't think of his name. Down the rapids. Could that be his glasses? It just seems a bit weird. That a pair of sunglasses right on the path, sort of thing, right round here, like the front of the area on the path. But as I said, there's no way he's cutting through all this to get down there. And why would you? You'd stay to the path, would you not stay to the path rather than my other messages didn't appear here. There is a video on YouTube. I want you to watch it. Makes a lot of sense. Okay. It is called Lucy Lies Unraveled. On the video was released yesterday. Okay. Let me write this down. Lucy Lies Unraveled. Oh. Lucy Lies Unraveled. She explains about the WhatsApp messages on his location. Wow, I'll have to I'll have to sort that out. But thank you for that, Wes, Wesley Moore. Thank you. I'll put it up here. So if anyone out on Twitter X is watching, check this out on YouTube. It's called Lucy Lies Unraveled. It's a video. Do you know who, who is by Wesley? It's all right, you can mention the name. I'll just acknowledge them in the description. David, I rest... Yeah, well, I'll tell you now, David. Lucy isn't going to be working much lately. Because this is the reason she didn't want to come on the camera, right? Because she didn't want her face put out there. But Lucy, you're on Facebook. You're on Instagram. Where else are you? Oh, God. TikTok. You're everywhere. Your face is out there. We know what you look like. I think I know your face better than I know my own daughter's face at the moment. I've seen it that much. But you see, someone asked this in a comment already. And they said, oh, because Lucy's back in the UK, I don't know if she's or not. He said, can they not arrest her? And I said before, they can't arrest Lucy because she's not committed anything in the UK. If she committed an offence in the UK, then they could arrest her. But because they've got no gang, okay, okay. Thank you. That's even better. I'll acknowledge him. I'll put a link on acknowledgement in it for you. Dang. Actually, I think I have seen it go past in titles. Why? I just didn't have the time to watch it. Thank you so much, Wesley. Right? So, unless she did something wrong in the UK, they can't arrest her, which is annoying. But she won't be working much because they're going to be watching her like a hawk now. She's going to be watched. And same as this guy. I'm going, I'm going, to, put, I'm going to put his picture. I'll upload this picture after this. So then I... Same as this guy, when I find it again. Oh, wow. Where is he? I swear to God, I'm going to scream because I know I've got him somewhere. Uh, 
Ok là. Sam Cisco. All right. Because he's going to be watched like a hawk now. You watch it saying, I can't, well. I can't upload, I can't upload your drug lord. <laughs> no, fire must be, okay, I'll try another picture then you know. Try another one. But he's known, he's going for drug smuggling, so, and he was a member, he was a, a organ, run out of this gang in London. Hopefully this one can be loaded. It's a PNG, what are you going on? It won't let me load them. It won't let me load those two pictures of that guy. <laughs> so annoying. It's because he's a drug lord. Right? So. But they'll be watching the name. They'll be watching both of those people. They really will. I want to know who that other guy is that was he was with. But as I said, I'm looking I'm gonna be doing some research tomorrow. Right? I've got to go over to my son's house, but I'll take my laptop with me and I'll just sit in his and do the research there. Um on Lucy May. Because someone mentioned today her name was coming up in connection with the Airbnb. Now, if it's true what I've heard, as I said, I like to fact-check myself. You know what I mean? You want me to play the videos now? I'll go on now and do them. Let's have a look. YouTube. I might as well if I'm going to Dan O'Keefe. Right. Let's have a look at Dan. Oh yeah, straight up there. All right, here it is. It's all beginning to unravel in the Jay Slater case. And the person who holds the key is Lucy. Now today, we're gonna to show you how Lucy's story has unraveled. Watch and comment. Okay, got a quick question. So this is the screenshot that Lucy provided to the I Love Tenerife page, you know, when she was first looking for Jay. So she stated that this is the screenshot chart right that um jay sent her obviously it's not because there's wi-fi there is a battery symbol meaning charge yeah yep and also if that was jay sending his location to someone it would have a green dot just like this because it was whatsapp so yes. who else Good. that morning had a phone call with jay brad yeah who what did brad say turn your location on jay so the only other person that could have sent lucy jay's location is brad seems fine right that's a, that's fine brad's just sent his friend lucy jay's location nothing wrong there except why did lucy do this narrative of jay sent me his location jay jay sent me his location he sent me a screenshot of his location no he didn't because the, the <laughs> The battery's on charge, and the only other person that has his location is Brad. So Brad sent you his location, didn't he, Lucy? And before anyone says, this is Lucy's phone on charge, mm -mm. because now I've actually come to think of it, people have um, commented on my videos that it actually is a screenshot of an, a screenshot of an, a screenshot. So her phone is screenshot in the screenshot. <laughs> It's kind of hard to explain, but yeah, I'm with you. I'll show you. So in this picture, you can see her microphone indicator is in the black bit, right? Then there's a second iPhone indicator, the microphone. They're both orange dots, both orange dots, yeah? Mm. You only get one orange dot per phone when your microphone's in use. So this is a screenshot of a screenshot, right? 
which means the original battery with the microphone is the screenshot of the location. So the, the phone is on charge. Oh, also with the uh, green call bubble and the two microphone indicators, that means whoever the screenshot and the phone, whoever these two screenshots are, they're on the phone to each other because the microphone indicator means they're both talking and the blue, uh, the green bubble means they're on the phone, they're talking. So then we go to this screenshot. So as you can see, this is the screenshot of Jay's location with a green dot, meaning the person that has sent the screenshot to Lucy is now next to Jay's last location. You can tell by the old status bar, by the way, the old battery symbol, because Lucy's got the new phone, because you can, uh, I've already said this in my previous video, Lucy has a new iPhone, so she doesn't have these old symbols, right? So that means at 1.50 a.m., Brad and Lucy were together at Jay's last pinged location at two in the morning. Why is that? Also, one thing that's not, what I'm not understanding is, one, one why are you there at 2 a.m. anyway? Because it would have been pitch black. You wouldn't have been able to see nothing. You know for sure you wouldn't be able to look for someone at two in the morning, especially in that terrain. It would have been absolutely pitch black. Pitch black. You would, you've seen the Masca Valley cameras. It's darkness. So that's my first question. Second question is, this is the day after as well, because it says on the bottom of the screenshot, last uh, updated at 8.21 a.m., which is allegedly Jay's location, right? So I'm like, okay, so why are you there at the day after at two in the morning? Pure speculation. To me, I'm thinking, is this actually the moment that the phone was planted there? Drive up to the mountains? Only takes 45 minutes, right? And get there at two in the morning, plant the phone, um, get the location screenshot and forget to edit 2 a.m. out the, out the top and edit in this bit, which says last seen at 8.21 previous morning, which they were meant to, they were meant to change the time. Who knows? So my question is, why would Lucy want to hide the fact that Brad was the one that actually sent her the screenshot of Jay's location by, by instead saying, oh no, Jay sent me his location. Now, that seems to me that Brad and Lucy don't want anyone to think that they're close and that they're hanging out and talking and, you know, on the phone to each other. You can see in the screenshot, this screenshot, Lucy's in, mic indicator is on, which is the orange dot. He's got the green bubble, so they're on the phone to each other. Why wasn't this mentioned? Why didn't Brad say to Isla in his interview, oh, um, yeah, and then afterwards when when um, when he didn't get back to me, I was on the phone to Lucy, and she and um, I actually sent Lucy Jay's location because Lucy asked me for his location, um, and then Lucy's obviously posted it on the I Love Tenerife group. Instead, he turns around and says, oh, Oh yeah, he must have been getting a call from someone. He knows it was Lucy. We all know it was Lucy. Why didn't he say, oh, that's when he got a call from Lucy? Because he doesn't want people to know that him and Lucy are talking. So what are your thoughts? Do you agree that Lucy holds the key to this case? Let us know in the comments. Also, please do share and subscribe as it helps more people find our channel. We'll have more soon. I've subscribed. And I'm sharing it. Way to go. Actually, I saw some earlier, and I think it was on his channel. I never won on his channel. Right? And, um... And, but it is right what she's saying. I've said that Jay was not up on those mountains. I know he wasn't. And now, now because in that video she's mentioned the name Brad, I'll tell you what I think. And I'll tell you what I heard today, okay? And I'll, but I'll still check the facts on this. But what I heard today, right?
was Lucy was the one who booked that Airbnb, right? So was it Lucy staying at the Airbnb? I don't think so, but apparently she left a review. And that's why I want to check out this the site where you rent this Airbnb from, because I want to check it out myself. Right? But I said, Brad, at a quick glance, you could take for, especially if you're wearing, say, sunglasses or something, you could take for being Jay. Yeah, I really do. Now, he went out and asked this woman, Jay supposedly asked this woman when the bus was due. The woman used her hands, saying 10 o'clock. Right? He then went back out again a few minutes later and asked again. Why would you ask twice? She's already told you 10 o'clock, be it 10 minutes or 10 or ten o'clock in the morning or 10 hours later. She's already told you once. Because the reason he went out again, because he had to be known, it had to be known that he was there. That photo, I don't believe was took that day. I think that photo could come from Friday morning, Saturday morning, Sunday morning. Yep. Because when I was looking at, I was, this is before I started my channel. I was watching a YouTube channel and I was talking about this other case of a missing boy. And they've got the suspects. They're just building the case now up. And these people were trying to say, Oh, well, it couldn't be us because we was here and we was there, right? This other YouTuber came on and showed us how... I didn't know this before. I didn't know you could do it. Came on and showed us how you can click on a photo, go into the this, this description of it or whatever it is, and you can change the date, the time, and the place where it was took. Well, we're not worried about the place where it was took. They're going to have to change the place where it was took. But they can change the date and time on a photo. And with Snapchat, they send a photo. It disappears within a minute or so. But if you save it to your phone, you can then go into your pictures and edit the time and day. So I think it was Brad that woman saw. Right? I think it was Brad that woman saw walking up the hill very quickly. Because don't forget, I've always said they've got to... It's like, from the beginning, it was like... It's definitely up in the hills. It's, that's where his phone pinged. It pinged up there. It's, it's de it's, they were so adamant he was up there. Why? Why are you so adamant? Just because his phone pinged up there. That doesn't mean nothing. That means that could mean his phone got stolen, and then someone's just thrown it in the bushes up there. It could mean anything, right? Doesn't mean Jay was up there, but they was adamant, and it really annoys me. It gets my gets the red flags going when people are so adamant about a certain thing like Sebastian Rogers. They are adamant he left that front, he went out that front door. Why? Because they don't want us to think about him leaving through the garage door, the back door, or any other fecking door. And it's the same here. They don't want us to think, to believe that he never went up there. They're adamant about him going up them hills. They've had to put the phone up there. And as that guy said in that TikTok, the only way that phone's got up here, if it's not on the path, because you find it. Right? It's got to be in them bushes. 
is if it was thrown. And I believe him. And that augment him is up there. They've just wasted two weeks of law enforcement's time. You know, if I was law enforcement, I'd be dragging that brag into the police station up there. And I'd be putting my thumb on him. Start telling the truth, Brad, because you're going to go down. You probably wasn't even involved with any of this drug thing. But I tell you now, you're going to go down for someone like Lucy. Really? Tell the truth, Brad. So. But. Yeah, uh, I'll acknowledge him in my description, don't worry. But that was interesting, what she was saying there about the phones. Because mine isn't an apple, so it wouldn't be the same. I need a new phone. I might buy one of them updated ones like Lucy's. Nah, I ain't got that money for that. How can she buy? Where's she getting the money from as well? If she's not a mule, where is she getting this money from to buy all these updated phones and go on all these nice holidays every month? Every month. This girl is away. When I looked on her Facebook page, the only time she was at home was March, April, May. Of 2023 it was March, April, May. Right? So, we know she's a drug mule. I wouldn't say she's taking over borders like across country lines. I think she's a sort like, like let's say, they get called in to. They fly them out to these different countries and they give them the drugs to deal. There, while they're there. Then at the end, they take whatever drugs they've got left back and whatever money they've got, they take back. Do they do it daily? I don't know. Do they do it weekly? I'd, I'd like to have my, if it was me, if I was a drug lord or whatever, I'd want my money each night, at the end of each night. Give me the money back. Give me my money and give me whatever drugs you haven't got now back. I'll see you later with the new bag. You know what I mean? But this is a Instagram. And I read, I was watching another YouTube channel the other day, earlier today, and there's on about how she's, she knows how to handle a speedboat. One of them, um, what are they called? Where you go on the sea. One of these, this. She knows how to handle one of them, right? Yes, yeah, she does. But she also knows how to ride. One of these. Tenerife, Canary Islands. Lucy May New buggy in the mountains. She knows those mountains. So she knows the mountains. But if I think I need to find that car, that higher car, that, that, what, as it cuisine, hired, they need to get forensically checked, just seeing the election result there, good, a Labour landslide predicted, yeah, but like, is this the major um, elections, David, the major ones, the main ones, like who becomes the new PM, where was I, <laughs> rest Lucy, <laughs> oh God, <clears throat> yeah, and that guy cuisine, right? He's a drug. He's a. He just got sentenced for nine years. He didn't do nine years. We all know how our 
our prison system works over in the UK. Yes, I believe she was at the Airbnb. Because if someone sent you that screenshot of him standing on that doorstep, right, and maybe a screenshot of the scenery, would you be able to find an Airbnb like that? I know I wouldn't. I think he's on a boat. Something was mentioned about a boat, but that was ruled out. That was ruled out about a boat. There was a boat in the area at the time that he went missing. But that's been ruled out. But then again, that's the Spanish police ruling that out. So do we trust the Spanish police? You believe he's alive? And the mother's been dancing. <laughs> I say, really? She's been buying Chanel handbags. Have a look into the picture with the red blanket. Yes. You think it's Brad? I think it's Brad. I think it's Brad as well. <laughs> oh, I love you. I love these comments that are coming out with the rest of the week. How? Yes, I rest them. But they can't because she's not broken. She's not done anything over in the UK that they know of. I'd love our police to go and arrest her. I think she'd look good in Pandora bracelets. And orange, orange suit and Pandora bracelets. But do we have orange prison suits there? We don't, do we? I think we ought to have those orange prison suits like they do in the US. Aye. So, yeah, I think it's bad. I really do. But as I said, I don't trust that picture anyway because I've just explained to you what you can do with a picture. You can edit the time, the date, everything. But I've looked into that picture. I really have. And... When I was looking into that picture, I suddenly realised, I thought, hold on, how do we know that picture was taken on that day, on that morning? Right? I Even before it came out about cuisine, I said then, before it even came out about that guy, I said, I'm sorry, but they know those two guys. Lucy knows, or someone else knows those two guys. Right? I even said possibly Jay knew those two guys before going up there, if that was the case. Right? But then when you hear about the Rolex, which is not the watch, but the tablet, the pill, the little pill, the little green pill, the little crown on it, ecstasy tablet. It's called the is it the green Rolex or Rolex green or some green Rolex or something like that it's called? So, yeah, I definitely think now that they've got to go and find that car. It was a higher car that I believe. They need to do the forensic checks on that car. And as I said, I will do my research on that uh, Airbnb tomorrow. Well, as much as I can find out. Because there's a lot of channels I can't get into. But if I find out the, if I can find the channel, the, where you book that Airbnb, I'll find the Airbnb and then I can look at the reviews. Right? 
So, because what if if it is true what I heard today? Why would Lucy be leaving a review on the Airbnb? And you know that text that was released, that very very long text that was released by some someone. Oh, it's just you're too loud. Um, that very long text by that person who said he works with Lucy. Yeah, it was. I was just sitting there today, and I'm watching all these YouTube channels, and I'm thinking, you know what? Hidden behind the lies is the truth. You gotta look. Like people say, you know, when you're reading something, look, be read between the lines. Yeah. Well, with every lie, there's a truth. And the truth is starting to come out now. Through all these little lies that are coming out, the truth is starting to come out in little bits, drips and drabs. The truth is coming out. But it's no use knowing the truth if we don't know where Jay is. I really don't think he's alive, but you believe he's alive, but I don't know. I think that incident, that argument you're seeing here on that beach, I think it was them. Right? And they was able to get him to the car. Because why would you... Like, apparently they were arranged to meet the guys at like 5am in the morning to do the exchange, yeah? Why on earth would you go back to someone's house at 5am or 6am in the morning and an hour later leave? And then for them, that stupid investigator, Mark Williams, to say he, he left there scared, too scared to go back. He wasn't scared when he stood there, apparently stood there and had a cigarette. You know what I mean? He wasn't scared. Scared when he come out of that Airbnb and asked that woman the first time and then went back into the Airbnb and then come back out again and asked the woman a second time. He wasn't scared then. You know what I mean? If I was scared, if I was being in a position where I was scared and I saw someone and I got a chance to speak to him, I wouldn't be asking him about bus times. I'd be asking him for help. You know what I mean? Look, can you help me? I need to get away from here. Can you get me away from here quickly? Just help me. But no, he then decides to walk half an hour away from where he's going, away from where he should have been going, uphill, to go on a dirt track. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense why you'd go back to the Airbnb and then an hour later, if that, decide to leave and come home. None of it makes sense. And as I said, Brad needs to talk because he may not know the full extent of what's been going on. Why? He may not, Brad may not have been dealing. Yeah. But if he's lying for Lucy, <coughs> well, you see, if he's working with Lucy and lying, which we know he is, then he's, been, he's pulling himself into this. And he needs to literally say, you know what, I can't, I'm not doing this no more. I'm telling the truth. Or even just tell his mum and say, Mum, I need to talk to the police. Can you take me there? Don't tell no one else. Just tell your mum. Or just take yourself to the police station. You're 19 years of age. Take yourself to the police. 
and tell them you want to talk to them, but you need protection. Right? Simple. Lucy's not there no more, so you've got no worries about Lucy. The big guy's there no more. He's flown back to the UK. So what's holding you back, Brad, from telling the truth? Or are you involved with the drugs? Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you for that information. With that video. Wesley. And thank you, David, for your comments. Thank you for being here. And I will... Be back tomorrow, hopefully with the information I have found out, hopefully. Unless some new information comes out, and then I don't have to go searching for it. Anyway, so I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a good week. It's Friday, is it, what day is it now? Friday tomorrow. It's nearly the weekend, guys. Nearly the, nearly the weekend. So, until then... Have a good day and I'll see you all tomorrow.